It's the journey of a lifetime for several military veterans as they are taking part in the Central and Southwest Virginia Honor Flight this weekend, traveling from Bedford to Washington, D.C. WFXR Sports Director and Army Veteran Jermaine Farrell joins us live from the National D-Day Memorial in Bedford, where veterans will leave around 10 this morning. Good day, Jermaine. Can you share what the energy is like right there right now? Well, good morning, Hazel Marie. And guys, is there energy here? Woo! Hey, we have energy. There is energy. That's right. We have Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. We got all the vets here. Speaking of the Army, the captain of this piece, of course, the Central and Southwest Virginia Honor Flight, my man, 100 grand, Martin Leamy. And Martin, I tell you what, it's like controlled chaos a little bit. Just a tad, yes. <laughs> uh, and I want to thank you for crouching down and making me look like I'm taller. It's, I really do appreciate that. Well, you know, I, I didn't want you to, I want you to have a little height advantage. That's why I got down like that, you know. Cut me in half, and I'm still got a height of it. it I think so. Yes. <laughs> well, I tell you what, this is fun. I mean, this is my second mission, but this is mission number eight for yes, this honor is. flight yep. group. And uh, unfortunately, we had to pause for a while due to COVID, so we missed out on a couple trips. So uh, we got some catching up to do. I know, and we're going to have many more of these. It's twice a year. It's a special occasion. But for those who don't know or understand just how big it is, because obviously we have 15 veterans. They're all uh, Vietnam veterans. And obviously we had some canceled, but overall it's still going to be fun. It is. It's, uh, I like to say we get on the bus of a bunch of strangers and we get off the bus on Sunday, a uh, uh, slightly dysfunctional family. Uh, it's, you're stuck on a bus with everyone, uh, you know, a, a, basically a metal box with wheels for three days. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I've seen some really deep, meaningful friendships develop as a result of these trips. You know, and obviously the relationships is big because I've noticed, like, for instance, I got on the bus and it was like we were fun. We were having fun. I mean, but at, at the same time, there is a structure to it. But the great thing is, you know, we have the structure, but overall you don't even notice there's a structure because everybody's just having a good time. Exactly. And, you know, we I think we do a pretty good job of walking that fine line between keeping things light and not – but by the same token, not taking into this account the seriousness of the, the reasoning behind the trips. Yeah, and the neat thing is like people do it from across the country. Some do it all in one day, but the neat thing is there's time you can breathe because we do it here three days. Right, yeah, we've got uh, travel days b uh, built in primarily on Friday and Sunday. We do, we do go to a museum on the way up on Friday, but uh, other than that, it's, it's just travel and eat. And I've been telling these vets <laughs> that, you know, they're gonna, if they're not already fat, they're going to come back fat. They'll be fat on Sunday. Yeah. I came back about 10 pounds heavy last time I went. It's, yeah, I mean, we, uh, Mission Barbecue, uh, VFW Post in Charlottesville, American Legion Post in Fairfax, they all take really good care of us. The ladies behind, uh, standing behind you, uh, of course, they're, from several chapters of the local uh, Daughters of the American Revolution. They've all uh, you know, combined their efforts to take care of breakfast for us. Good deal. Well, Martin, we're going to be here all morning until we take off, so it's going to be fun. This, this is true. Good deal. Well, I tell you what, in the next half hour, in fact, we got the Daughters of the American Revolution feeding the vets. So we'll talk to them. Yeah, there we go. Does get a line up. There they are. They are here to feed the troops. So in the next hour, we are going to talk to the daughters of the American Revolution because they are hooking us up. Martin, you're hooking us up. And we are live here at the National D-Day Memorial here in Bedford with the Honor Fly. Oh, wow. All right. You, can, you can feel that. Jermaine Farrell, WFXR, back to you. Thanks, Jermaine. You can really feel yeah, all that energy. Here. Hazel Marie, thank you. All that energy, all that energy. Thank you, Jermaine, and thank you to everyone who has served our country. Now, looking ahead this weekend 